Welcome back into Get Up DC. October is not only Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but also ADHD Awareness Month. And it's a time to shed light on the prevalence of this common neurodevelopmental disorder and highlight resources available. And to talk with us more about this is uh, Lisa Rabinowitz. She is the author of the book, Why Won't You Stop Interrupting Me? A Simple Solutions for ADHD Couples. Uh, Lisa, good morning. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Uh, right now, there are roughly 7 million children ages 3 to 7 who have been diagnosed with ADHD. What message do you have for those families? There's hope and there's a lot of resources out there. And if we can bring awareness, just like you are, I really appreciate that. Uh, we can help those individuals not feel like there's a stigma attached to the ADHD and also empower them that they can reach out for services, for support, for accommodations. You know, I think I think many of us know the more common signs of ADHD, but what are some of the lesser known potential signs that we should be looking out for? Sure. So time blindness is a is an example of one of those lesser known um, uh, uh, examples. And with time blindness, somebody might say, oh, you know, I'll be ready in five minutes. But 30 minutes later, they're still not ready. And another example could be of time blindness that I might say, oh, dinner will be ready in five minutes. And then it's an hour later because I just didn't track the time well. That's one example. Another example is making decisions. So making decisions can be difficult for ADHD individuals because I could just get overwhelmed with which one should I do, or I might just get impulsive and do one of them. Mm, really interesting. Um, we don't have a lot of time here, Lisa, but what are some resources uh, for, for parents, for families, and where can they go to get more information? Sure. So Chad, Children and Adults with ADHD is, has a website, an amazing website filled with information for people of all ages and also professionals can have resources there. And ADA, that's adults, um, excuse me, ADA is Attention Deficit Disorder Association, and they provide a lot of resources and even have a magazine that helps children and, and parents. All right, uh, Lisa Rabonowitz, thank you so much. And if you'd like more information, we do have a link to her website at the bottom of the screen right now. Lisa, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time too. Thanks. Bye-bye.